Okay, let's get started on today's class. So what are we looking at? We're looking at Princess Peach, but she looks a little bit off. So what is it that's making her look a little bit off? Something is not quite right. So I'm gonna just make some changes and we'll look at the before and after and you'll just be able to tell. There are some anatomy mistakes like the collarbones are completely collapsed and depressed downward. Some odd areas, for instance, this negative space right here, it just feels a little bit odd. So what I'm gonna do is just make these initial corrections with the anatomy, show you the before and after, and then we go from there. Take a look at the neckline here. So I made a portrait studio model. The chest is from a three quarter view. So we're looking at some kind of really, really forced, uncomfortable pose. So now everything is kind of level with the camera. The camera is kind of just shorter than her. And then I'm going to change the angle of her head to be more of a complete three quarter view, tilting her head back, but her eyes are pointing down. And then it'll feel more like a comfortable pinup pose than an uncomfortable pinup pose. I'm not sure if you know this, but you kind of gave her more of an Asian eye. That's because there is a missing lower eyelid line. When eyes are closed, there's a uh, lower eyelid line visible. I'm also going to raise her eyebrow. Her eyebrow was another weird perspective thing you did. That low eyebrow made it feel like the head was lower, shorter than the camera. So that low eyebrow looks like this. All right, so see how close the eyebrow is to the eye, but when we change the angle, the eyebrow, see how far away it is from the eye now? Small changes, big results. Take a look. Before, after. All I did was use just a little bit of reference to give me the visual cues I need in order to make all of the perspectives now work for the same goal. Let's fix the collarbones, which are completely dislocated. And then there's just the question of how big the head feels. And the body looks so much smaller than the head. You can see how big the head was before. The head was too big. The neck was too wide. The low chest bone structure with the low collarbones made it look like a masculine shoulder line. Do you see how it looks like a muscular guy's shoulder line? Because they're so low, they're almost hinting that there's pecs here. And then the, the, the three-quarter view was just a little bit off. There were no cheekbones. Even though you were telling stories about this cheekbone and how high it is and how much definition it's got and how much highlight it's got, take a look. You know, it, it makes everything look uncanny. And you're already going for a pinup. So you're already on a tightrope walk. Do you see how manly it looked? Anybody could come back and say, oh, what's wrong with it looking manly while also wearing a dress? Nothing, absolutely nothing. But I don't think that this is what this person was aiming for. Um, another thing is the bulk, her general bulkiness of the body. Another field of eggshells I have to walk around. I'm not sure if you were aiming for a heavier set woman um, and a heavier set woman has a lot less definition, which is really similar to what you did. Do you see how big the chest felt? It felt like a bigger bust, not boob big, fat big, chest fat. Chest fat is different from breast fat. Breast fat is still there. Not, it's not fat anymore. It's something else. Breast fat is still there when you're thin. However, chest fat is very different from having big breasts. It's just more of the, the size and the girth of the chest line. One more thing about the neckline is the back of the neck. So she's got this huge body of hair. She's got all of this um, jewelry and none of it, none of it is stacking in front of the face. Not even the, the baubles of the ears, not even those. So that's a problem again before after now do you see the difference before after very big head bulky chest large chest bones and collar bones that are out of scale with the body type bigger chest more chest fat making it basically uh, look like a man a heavier man wearing a dress 
And I'm also going to address this annoyance, which is the fact that the background isn't visible for some reason through the arm loop. You need that to be visible so you can get an appropriate estimation of your of your silhouette. I think this gigantic Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan 5 little hair wing, I don't know if she actually has this or not, that gigantic horn you had before was so huge. If you can't tell how huge it was, I'll show you. I'm going to completely color it in. And this is another trick that you guys can learn. I'm also going to color in the face and color in the general area of the breasts. Three of uh, two focal points that are really important. And then I'm going to hide the background. They are all the same size. This is so unimportant and so irrelevant. What business does this have in being that big? Shrink it out of the way so that the two focal points that are sharing those, that line of sight, that line of vision are equal to each other. You see what I'm saying? So there was no point for that gigantic horn to be that big. Before, after before after when this thing is gone suddenly our eyes are back to her eyes and we're just more focused on her face okay and i'm just giving the lips that bit of cylindrical shape another bit of the focal point i didn't include in this big examination but it's the same size it covers the same amount of space and it has more color and more interest than the face look it's easier to look at the crown than it is to look at the face, which is actually really boring. It's a very standard, uniform, nondescript face. Alrighty, as for everything else, I'm gonna try to kind of break up this, this hair a little bit, just so it has more. And if this is that moment when Bowser is like looking back at Peach and he's just singing that song, and this is him like imagining her um, and writing a song about her, um, it should feel a little bit more dreamy, which I think you did right. I love the bit of glow you added. That actually looks very realistic. I'm going to bring in some highlights, starting with obviously the point of interest and a pinup. And just adding that bit of highlight. Just using white. That's it. That's the secret to making skin look shiny, is you just use white. And of course, the eyelid. The eyelid is almost completely hidden. And by all means, I mean, you don't have to do it with white. Use pink. Use some kind of glittery pink eyeshadow. Like, it's really up to you. But I'm just going to add in those, like, standard highlights to the eyes. And then I'm going to talk about the lighting. So a lot of your lighting is coming in from the top. Um, what's happening here is that it doesn't quite read all the way. So I'm going to double the layer. And I'm going to make it look like a lot of light is drowning from the top. This is the focal point. This is focal point number two and focal point number three. Wouldn't it make more sense if those focal points in a pinup that has only one character with the camera pointing at it to be just like right here? Maybe a little bit here, maybe a little bit here, but it's generally in the center. Look where it used to be. So this is where it should be. This is the ideal. Look where it used to be. It's not even in an ideal like corner situation where we're looking at it like this and it's corner to corner and the focal point is just this really, really organized corner to corner fills the scene two equally um, empty negative spaces, right? It's just, it's just right there. So it's a very weird crop. You're trying to show too much. If you cropped right here, that would be enough. That's it. It's done and it's good to go. As for the features, so I left this for last on purpose. Um, I recommend just doing the basic ones. You want more likes, I recommend doing those basic features. So a slightly smaller nose, slightly, and slightly bigger eyes. You don't have to actually increase the range. You just have to, or scale, you just have to expand on the inner and outer corners. And just the general chin size. And it goes a long way. Just doing those small things. See those? It just feels a little bit more like peach. So, before, after. So remember I separated the critique with anatomy and perspective from the critique about lighting and color. 
Okay, I separated those two. I'm actually trying to explain what I'm doing. Sometimes seeing the before and after also works for me, just for my paint over. It helps me decide on final little changes. So you can see how before the crop was just like, just too much, too much space where we don't need it. And then now she's just in a more decent spot for us to see her character. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you guys coming to the live streams. If you guys want the full live stream on YouTube, uh, you just have to join as a watcher on my Patreon. That's just $1 a month to get the full lecture from today if you want to know exactly how I did it and when. This video that you're watching is very short. It's a shortened version of the hour-long lecture that I did. So please join us on Patreon. It's just patreon.com slash Thank you everyone for coming today. Uh, please head over to the Reddit, go to istabrak.com and click on the subreddit icon here to join us for our community design challenge. The winner gets Portrait Studio, which you saw me use today. By the way, that's on sale and you can get it on my store right now. It's going to be on sale for a little while for the summer. Um, you also get my master class, which is a full master class, so how to paint a face. The three quarter view master class will be happening very, very soon. I might release it in the fall. Um, it'll be the same caliber of class with the same amount of information, uh, but for a three quarter view, how to successfully stack, rotate, all of that, keep the, 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 the square looking like a cube, etc. Um, and please go to my Discord community. There's a little side quest uh, environment challenge that's there. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to go to the Discord server to see it. Bye, guys.